What's up beautiful people? Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenna Lee, aka Jen Sparkly, commander of the Sparkle Army. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out in my little corner of the internet. I hope you'll stay. And uh, today we're going to talk about something that is a little bit out of my wheelhouse in, in terms of it's not something that I normally take so seriously that I feel the need to address it. So today I want to talk about advertising and it's the, the ideals that some advertising perpetuates. With that, I want to tie in this. Hardee's slash Carl's Jr., the fast food restaurant that has probably existed for 100 years. Okay, probably not that long, but you get what I'm saying. They've rebranded themselves numerous times in an attempt to try to keep up with an ever-dwindling market share. And they are currently in the process of launching a new rebranding campaign that purports to present Hardee's as the taste of America. Now, to roll out this new rebranding effort, they have a 60-second clip that has absolutely dominated Hulu. It has dominated YouTube. It is everywhere. And it's definitely getting mixed reviews. It's a repurposed song by Southern rapper Big Wet. It he he is part of a genre of hip hop music that is called hick hop. Uh, meant to be extremely, extremely southern and rap done through the lens of southern, you know, the deep south, as it were. Now, what bugs me about the Hardee's commercial is that the entire, um, the entire vibe of the commercial, the entire aesthetic they're going for is we are as American as apple pie. We're America. Hardee's is American. And then they share lyrics about cash crops and coffee and uh, bonfires and back roads and pickup trucks. And call me crazy, but that is not all there is to America. And it's a little insulting. <laughs> That Hardee's thinks that, there you go, it's America, y'all. For lots of people, yes, that is their day-to-day. -day. That is their everyday life. That is America to them. But to millions and millions of people, back roads and pickup trucks are just as foreign as anything across the ocean would be. And I've tried to weed through some of this big wet guy's videos and I truly cannot tell if he is a joke artist or if he's serious. We're in such a crazy postmodern age of anti-humor humor and esoteric jokes and anti-jokes that I truly cannot tell if he's being serious or if he's truly like in a very dry way, poking fun at that whole aesthetic. I can't tell. The commercial itself is those, it's repurposed his song to have Hardy's themed lyrics in it, but they do use terms like cash crops and coffee, popping biscuits in the back seat. That lyric in particular struck me as odd because it sounds very much like they're trying to repurpose hip-hop vernacular and work it into something parties related because it's not uncommon at all to hear popping bottles in the VIP, popping pillies, but popping biscuits? Nah. Nah. Swing and a miss. Now, I know it's just a commercial and it's just a little 60 second spot, but to me it's indicative of a very, very clear abyss between upper echelon marketing executives and people who actually 
interact with their product and their company. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to link the commercial down below. Watch it. It's only 60 seconds. Is this for real? Tell me what you think. Let me know. And that's really it for that. It's just something that hit me that I really wanted to talk about today. So, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment. Tell me what you think about this because I want to know. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Also, I do have a Patreon now. Definitely check that out. The link to my Patreon is in the description box. If you only want to do a one-time payment, I have PayPal information as well. All of my social media links are in the description box, as are all my coupon codes. Check through all those. Go shop and treat yourself. And until next time, you guys stay beautiful. I love you.